a.m. till 9 p.m. Pick up sliced seats and Watson's deli meat, freshly made Italian bread, and Lewis dairy milk. Headlines, headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. All right, Jess, we got a lot of stuff going on. We do. Uh, let's kick off uh, local. What you got? All right, so the Delaware Shorebirds, they are Del planning. Delmarva Shorebirds. Or, I'm sorry, the Delmarva Shorebirds are planning to return to the field. Yes. All right. The sporting venue and the capacities, you know, they were rolled back, and now they are in the process of figuring out the seating arrangements. But we know that Governor Larry Hogan announced the capacity limits at sporting venues. It's going to be increased to 50%. And now that they have that information. Love it. May 4th is a big day for them. Who knows what will change between now and May 4th, but they were hoping that the current knowledge that they have right now, they can, you know, open up and uh, get this season started. I thought you were going to say, get this party started. 50% (laughs) capacity. Yep. Um, They did say that they are working on the seating arrangements. They will have the sanitizing uh, station set up, what they're going to do with the equipment and PPE, et cetera, et cetera. But 50% capacity. Now, we were just mentioning Texas a couple minutes ago. Yes. Speaking of uh, MLB, and as parks start to open up um, with fans, Mm Mm-hmm. You know, and Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball spring training, by the way, is on and popping. I was watching the yep. Phil- Phillies yesterday. They they ended up winning. They just did. FYI. Um, but they're starting to let fans in. Every state is different. Mm-hmm. The Texas Rangers. Love it. Oh, gosh. Planned what? What? to what? pack their stadium at full capacity. <laughs> Goodness. Yes, let's do this. MLB's Texas Rangers opening up their stadium to full capacity for their home opener, which is less than a month away. Now, fans are going to be have to wear masks, okay? Right. They're going to require masks, even though Texas doesn't anymore, but they're going to be wearing masks, and they're going to put up plexiglass walls to protect the players from any, uh, you know, contagious fans or anything, you know, in the stands. Mm-hmm. But they're opening up. All right, so full capacity. At uh, the Texas Rangers, and I think more are going to start doing that All as right. well. So... That'll wow, be, that's you know, huge. love it. Love it. 100%. We're getting a stimulus. Things are opening up. It's coming oh back, y'all. Gosh. We coming back, y'all. We back. All right. April 5th, I believe, is their home opener. Okay. So. Sounds good. I mean, look, it's a month, yeah. you know, so ha- okay. think about how numbers All are going right. to be then. So. I wonder if tickets are on sale already. <laughs> what, are you trying to get one? <laughs> are tickets on sale? They're probably sold out. <laughs> You're right. They're probably sold out. You're right. Yeah, it's so. going to be sold out. Hands down. Wow, that's amazing. Also, um, in Ocean Pines, you had mentioned this before, but the community there is rallying around a family who lost their home in a fire on Saturday. Mm. Local story, the Ocean Pines community is coming together to support this family. It happened over the weekend. The organizer of a Facebook group called Local Help for You Worcester County said that the group was created to support locals during the pandemic. But immediately when this fire broke out, they wanted to help that family. They did create a GoFundMe page right now. They currently raised over nine thousand dollars over 300 people have donated they are dropping off clothes and they say that the community has really come together to help this family and they just want to thank everyone definitely great all right and in delaware delaware's minimum wage could go up to 15 dollars an hour by 2025 and this is the situation lawmakers right now are aiming to gradually increase the state's minimum wage it was introduced on Tuesday how they can slowly raise the state's minimum wage from $9.25 an hour to $15 an hour by the end of 2025. The first raise would be $1.25 next year. So they're working on that. Okay. okay? Uh, this is from Stephen Decatur High School in Berlin Athletics. Okay. Home game fall 2021 sports pass update as of 3 10 21. Originally, sports passes were $40. For two spectators for football and fifty dollars for two spectators for all other sports. This was for immediate family members, twenty-one or older only. Mm-hmm. In light of Governor Larry Hogan's latest announcement, Stephen Decatur Athletics excited to expand the capacity for our fall passes. Each student athlete may have up now to five spectators per game, meaning three additional to the original plan, with no age requirements. Very okay. Nice. So Very nice. they were only going to have Good. two, and now, and all right, and, we and you t- were just talking about I know. that too. Well, I know. they say get like Governor Hogan's uh, announcement. I, I don't know. 
no. I think they might have heard us talking about it. Oh, no. They might have heard me bitching this about it. something you were pretty passionate about. <laughs> now they're adding, uh, uh, okay. and, you, and you don't have to be 21 either. Right. And okay. you said that, too. The additional passes will be $20 a pass. These passes will require, uh, you know, to get you into the game. And then you can purchase them uh, by contacting the school bookkeeper, right, so et cetera. That pass, that's good for all the games? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. But now each student can have up to five. That's a good deal. Instead of two. I like it. That's a good solution. Okay. So, 648, it's a bill. Well, they say, again, they say Larry I Hogan. I know. I know. Look. Look. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but you know, we we had a pretty strong <laughs> I had a pretty strong opinion about that. You know. <laughs> so 470 texting in for Throwback Thursday. Hey, this album is 